Um, I really don't want anyone to think I'm perfect. I don't want anyone to think that I have defeated all habitual sin and right now I'm actually struggling pretty bad to break free from a couple of things. My two biggest vices are pornography and I smoke cigarettes. Um, so with cigarettes, um, I do try and quit every day. I really do, almost every day. Um, I fail pretty, pretty badly. And with pornography, right now I'm at a pretty bad low in regards to stumbling in that I have been free from pornography a few times, if not several times. Um, the longest I've been free from pornography is 17 months. And right before that, um, right before I fell from that addiction, I heard a voice telling me that I was gonna end up being addicted to that again and looking at that. And I was telling God, no, please no. Now, to this day, I don't necessarily know if that was God or not. I really do think it was God in the same way that Jesus told Peter that he was going to deny him three times. And so yeah, I am here to just confess these things because I did gain a few subscribers um, since I started this YouTube and I'm literally doing nothing at all and I'm still getting subscribers and I just feel like I just want to be real with you guys. You know, if any of you think that I'm perfect or that I'm this super strong Christian that just has defeated all habitual sin, I just don't want you to be deceived. And on top of that, I also want to be real because I see that there's a lot of Christians that are hiding things. There's a lot of Christian leaders that are hiding sins and things that are going on. You know, even Paul himself had a thorn in his flesh and there's different theologies about what that really was. Some people think it was a sin. Some people think it was pride. Some people think it was probably a, a demonic oppression. It's, there's all sorts of things. Regardless, I'm not here to be condemning. I'm not here to be a legalist. I'm here to be real about what I see Jesus is saying in the Bible. And, you know, to my last video that I was talking, I was, I do believe that was a vision from the Lord. I do. But I just want to collaborate on that video because I really don't want anyone to think that, um, you know, I'm either, you know, that I'm just like super legalist because I'm really not. Um, at the same time, I do struggle a lot with condemnation. And so I have battling, I have been battling that as well as spirits of fear and other things. You know, this may be religious, this may be legalist, but I am just searching for the truth. And I do want to live the straight and narrow path as straight and narrow as I possibly can. And I know that God has called each of us to live that. So with all of that being said, I just want to make this clear. There are some times where I'm really hardcore fire and brimstone, and then there's other times where I'm super merciful and graceful. And I have found that I have grown spiritually in both of these. Now, the crazy thing that I forget as I struggle with condemnation is that whenever I've actually grown closer to the Spirit of God and become more intimate with Him, it's not when I was trying to perfect myself, but it was actually accepting the fact that I'm battling something and knowing that God loves me exactly where I'm at and for who I am. And when I just forgot about like the fact that I would be addicted to something or be doing something that I'm not supposed to be doing, I would actually get more intimate with God and more alive in His Spirit when I forgot about my sinful battles that I still struggle with and just accepted that God loves me. And actually that mindset and living that has grown me to receive more from God from being used in his kingdom, but also break through from sin and oppression and all those things more than anything else has just been from knowing, okay, I, by faith, I claim that I'm a child of God. I live for him. I want him. And it wasn't about me trying to just end my, end my sinful habit anymore. Instead, it was about God loves me for who I am and I want to serve him. I have found time and time again, and I think including this time as I'm really battling condemnation and, you know, just religion, I guess, um, it really does come down to what he's capable of doing and not what we are capable of doing. The other thing is, you know, God is not a spirit of fear. He's not a spirit of confusion. He's not a spirit of doubt. You know, these are all things I'm struggling with right now really bad. In regards to what I'm supposed to do, am I even in the place that I'm supposed to be? Am I living His calling? Which is funny because I've honestly been living by the grace of God more than I have in my entire life. I am living by faith, not by sight. And right now I'm just going through this process of literally just processing and taking deep breaths and not worrying about anything. Um, but it's literally a time of healing and time of deliverance. It's, I really hope so. Um, 
But yeah, when it comes down to it, I just want to be real with everyone here. I'm not perfect. I struggle with sin. And I'm not trying to make myself um, sound more holy, high and holy, than anyone else. I've always kind of had this thing of transparency um, since I've gotten serious with Jesus. I've only gotten more transparent. And I think there's a battle about wanting to wanting to close up and not be so real. And I know there's wisdom in not confessing everything so openly and so blatantly, but I'd rather be just naked in, you know, who I am than hide it and never get fixed. Um, and God really does love all of us. He loves all of us for exactly who we are. And I know he still loves me. And I know he, he really has a plan for me. And he has a plan for you too. And he has a destiny for you. And he's gonna use you if you allow him to. And you're not supposed to live in fear. You're not supposed to live in doubt or confusion. If you're struggling and you feel alone, I just want you to know that you're not alone. You're not. So God bless you guys. Jesus does love you. He really loves you.